me a water, please, Dan. Catch! Oh. 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 This is fizzy orange. <laughs> so? <laughs> Watch it! I wanted water. <laughs> Look out! Oh, you boys, settle down. Miss, I wouldn't take that one. A book. <laughs> I'll be talking to your parents about tonight. Eh? Parents' evening, Dennis. Or had you forgotten? Maybe you shouldn't have wound up creatures so close to parents' evening. Hey, chill. I've got a plan. Are you going to find a way to stop your mum and dad coming to school like you did last year? <laughs> nah. I bet he's going to try and stop creature like he did the year before. <laughs> right, Dennis? Meet me at the treehouse after school. Then you'll find out. OK, so I'm wearing one of your dad's suits. Now what? Me mum and dad are going to meet a teacher at parents' evening. But it won't be creature. Oh, like a substitute teacher. Exactly. You're going to be our substitute teacher and tell them I'm brilliant. But why me? Well, it can't be me. And it certainly can't be Pie Face, unless he taught at clown school. <laughs> <laughs> look at me! I'm a teacher! <laughs> you look the part, Curly. Now act it. <clears throat> you boy, come to the front of the class. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind telling the rest of us what you think is funny? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to work on your teacher act. Menace one to clown feet. Are you receiving me? Eh? Who said that? Pick up your walkie-talkie! Oh! Ah! Hello, Dennis! It's code names from now on, Pie Face. I mean, clown feet. Uh, sorry, De... Uh, what's your code name again? Menace one! OK, Menace one. I'm in position. Good. Get ready for incoming parents. Over and out. Menace one to Mr. Din. Are you receiving me? Loud and clear, Menace one. Are you ready, Mr. Din? I think so. I compliment your mum on her hair. Talk to your dad about rubber bands and paper clips and... Uh... Oh, I tell him you're an A grey student. That's it. Good luck. Over and out. <laughs> Game on. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Walter. Uh, happy parents' evening. Uh, what are you up to? I'm a greeter. I'm here to welcome you to parents' evening. So, <laughs> welcome. This way. Go on. Face. Ah, oh, good evening, Dennis's dad and uh, Mrs. Dennis's dad. Welcome to parents' evening. I'll show you where to go. Uh, follow me. Not that way, Pie Face. Hey, eh? oh yeah. Uh, right, this way. Come on. So far, so good, Nasha. Let's hope Curly can keep his end up. Here we are, and here comes Mr. Din. What happened to Mrs. Creature? Uh, she's on le leave uh, for stress. So, uh, Mr. Uh... Din, but you can call me Stan. Standing? Nice to meet you, Stan. Uh, we're very interested to hear all about our son, Dennis. Menace one to clown feet. Menace one to clown feet. Rendezvous outside hall. What's that? Nothing. Uh, gotta go. Duty calls. How's Curly doing, Pie Face? Everything going to plan? Yeah, he's doing a great job, I think. Right. 
We'll go and keep an eye on Creature. Let's get into position. <laughs> now then, to business. That's a nice tie you've got there. I have one just like it, except that mine's got a blob of gravy right about the... Hey, you've got exactly the same stain. I do? I do? Yes, I do! <laughs> what a coincidence! Uh, how can I explain that? Oh, no need to explain. <laughs> you obviously love gravy just as much as I do. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's it. Uh, oh. So, uh, let's take a seat, shall we, and, and talk about your son. And may I say, Mrs... Uh, uh, Dennis, your, uh, your hair. Yes, your, your hair. Uh, my hair? It's great. Lovely cut. <laughs> nice style. Great, uh, great hairstyle. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Uh-oh, trouble. Quick, Nasher, in here. Highface <laughs> was here a minute ago, miss, showing all the parents the way to go. Hmm. Well, in that case, where are Dennis's mum and dad? I'm supposed to be with them now. Oh, ha! That's it! He must have taken them somewhere else. Then we'd better find them. Come on. Venice won to clown feet. Red alert! Creatures on the warpath! Ah! Make sure she doesn't come towards the hall. OK, I'm on it. Over and out. <laughs> Still be time for you to talk to my parents, though, won't there, Mrs. Creature? I don't want them to miss out. Depends how quickly we can find Dennis's parents, Walter. <laughs> Creature's right outside the hall. Copy that. Blockade the door and stop them from getting in. I'm just about to cause a distraction. <laughs> Door isn't usually locked. Go, go, go! <laughs> if that dog is here, Dennis must be too. After him! I have a feeling someone doesn't want us to see what's behind these doors. Well, I'll show them. <laughs> So I said to him, those paper clips are hand tooled, you know. <laughs> yes, I had a similar experience at uh, Clipcom back in 05. Yeah. Well, yes, it's great that you two share some interests, but what about our son? How's he been getting on? Ah, yes, uh, uh, an excellent pupil, uh, very funny. <laughs> Great imagination and oh, what he can do with rubber bands. <laughs> really? Takes after his old dad, does he? <gasps> Nobody's going to stop my teacher from telling my parents how brilliant I am. Walter! What's the meaning of this? Who are you? <laughs> Nasha? Mrs. Creature! I thought you were on leave. With stress. I may well be next term. Stan here has been filling us in on Dennis's good work. <laughs> <gasps> oh, sorry. I... Oh, dear me. I... Here we are. Here's your glasses and, and, and your moustache and... and, and... Oh! oh! Mr Dintermanish one, you better come to the hall. Over and most definitely out. <laughs> Curly, I thought better of you. And pie face too. Sorry, Sorry Mrs. Mrs. Creature. Since you worked together in this ridiculous scheme, you're all going to be punished. Ha! I recommend that they all go to summer school. Oh no! No! They can't go to summer school! They'll ruin everything! Um, it's just not fair! I can't believe it! No one ever thinks about I'd better go and speak to Walter's parents. That'll cheer him up. Don't be too disappointed, son. You still get to spend the summer with your two best friends. That's true. Perhaps it won't be too bad after all. Nasha the one 
underdog will perform their most daring stunt. A leap across Devil's Gulch. Yes! A perfect takeoff and a perfect... <laughs> ...landing. Oh! Oh! Nasha, where are you? With that, Nash has already got a kennel, thanks. For your information, this is a hutch. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. <coughs> this is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. <coughs> Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats. These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. It's a dog's life. Uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Dan? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best kept dog in the world. <laughs> Come on, Fluff. We don't bite. Problem, Mum. Watch this. Nasha! Hey, boy! Nasha! Nasha, stop! <laughs> yes, these lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. By all that's cocky, I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables. Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? <sighs> Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty. <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly, pie face, see anything? Yes. Good. Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! <gasps> oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Yeah, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <coughs> oh, no! And this one's cherry. Nice, eh? Hmm. But this one. Oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him. Same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out... He's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? <laughs> and a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? <laughs> 
You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how you absolutely... <laughs> That's agreed then, Mum. Nasha's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasha. <laughs> now then, remember, quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. Here, Nasha. Keep these out of sight. <laughs> oh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good. Because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll uh, hop after him. Fluff, I mean, Nasher, here, boy. Oh, look at my glasses. Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh there's no need. <laughs> They went behind the shed. Good. There's no escape. Leave it to me. Got you! Look like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No. Sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. Oh. Uh, give them to me. Silly rabbit. Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jane. Look! Hold on, Fluff. We'll save you. I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre. But I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> it's your favourite. Seaweed and spinach. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dave. He's heading for that tree. <laughs> This is a job for Nasha. Yuck! Bad rabbit! Bad boy! <laughs> Pierre! I didn't mean it! Come back! Fluff! <laughs> Jump! And Nasha. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing, really. And it looks like Nasha helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian wire haired tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Uh huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Good. Well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him. He's traumatised. Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. I think he likes you. <laughs> 98, 99, 
hundred. See, Curly? I told you Nasha had a hundred fleas. You owe me an ice cream. Oh. See you later, dear. <sighs> Can't you boys find something a bit more useful to do in the holidays? Like that nice Walter. Why? What's he doing? Good business by the look of it. Why not try today's special offer? Buy three muffins and get ten bonus points on your Walter Enterprises loyalty card. Oh, what a wonderful idea. What's your name, young man? <coughs> My card. Oh, how very, um, enterprising. Remember, the three golden rules of business. Number one, always look your best. Number two, always use pie charts. Did he say pies? Pie charts, pie face. And rule number three, the most important, always behave like a grown-up. Like a grown-up. Got it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I've been offered a very important position and I don't want to be late. <laughs> important position? What's he on about? Dennis, lunch. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm starving. Not your lunch, silly. Dad's. He left it on the kitchen table. Could you be a love and take it to his office for him? Thanks. Huh. Ah, no. Oh, how did that get there? That should be in its proper place. Hi, Dad. I brought you lunch. And uh, this is the rubber band and paper clips department. Oh, no! It's Scrim. He mustn't see you here. Quick! Ah, oh, what's his name? There you are. I'd like to introduce your new assistant. Say hello to Walter. Walter? He's here for the summer to learn the business. Rubber bands everywhere? Well spotted, lad. You're learning fast. Masha, don't! What's that noise? Uh, uh, my tummy. <laughs> I have a bit of uh, indigestion. <sighs> mm. Come on, Walter. I'll show you the canteen. How about some lemonade? Hmm? I prefer herbal tea, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, much healthier. <laughs> Your previous system of rubber band classification was extremely inefficient, so I've reorganised them according to length, colour and elasticity. There's really no need. I've also labelled things in the office so we know what's what and whose is whose. The thing is, what's his name? It's just more efficient this way. That's it. You're supposed to be my assistant. What's more, you will address me by my proper name. It's Mr... What's his name? What's going on, eh? Why all this shouting? Uh, sorry, Mr Scrimp. How's our young work experience lad doing, eh? Fine, Mr Scrimp. Just fine. <laughs> I knew it. I predict great things for you, Walter. Well, uh, carry on, what's his name? Come on, look lively. Quality, elasticity, efficiency, herbal tea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Nasha? Walter's making Dad's life a misery. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be a different story, cos Dad will have us helping him out. My new roller clip storage system will revolutionise Dad's department. What? What's that doing there? Dennis, I thought I told you to... Don't worry, Dad. I'm helping. You can't help, Dennis. Not today. I'm giving a very important talk about efficiency. Trust me. I can be just as efficient as Walter. Look, I've fastened the paper clips together so you won't lose any. Thanks, Dennis, but where's the end of the chain? Walter, there you are. Um, I'd like you to meet Hiram Bigbax, the head of our company. He's flown all the way from Texas to be with us for the talk. 
Heard a lot about you, son. Scrimp tells me you got them rubber bands licked, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. What have you got there? Paper clips, sir. Some very silly person has fastened them all together. So I'm going to undo them again. <laughs> I like you, Walter. You remind me of myself as a boy. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Scrimp, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That does it! I've had it with you, what's his name? From now on, you can just empty the waste paper bins. But what about the presentation? I'm leaving that to my most efficient employee, Walter! You've got to get off me dad's case, Walter. Sorry, Dennis. It's not my fault if your father is inefficient. Right, Nashi. This means war. My fellow executives, to save me dad's job, we've got to fight Walter with useless, uh, I mean, ruthless efficiency. My business plan comprises the latest marketing strategies, fiscal projections and profit indexes, and this leaky pen, hair gel, glasses and fake moustaches. Any questions? What's an executive? I'll tell you later. Menace and company, let's go to work. There goes Walter. Time to put phase one of our business plan into action. Nasha? Yes? Phase two will be carried out in the boardroom. Let's see how Walter handles a takeover bid. When Hiram Big Bucks hears my speech, he'll be so impressed, he'll probably give me Mr. Squimp's job! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about the global market, with particular reference to rubber bands and paper clips. Uh, you have a question? Yes. Would you agree with me that the first rule of business is always to look your best? Because if so, <laughs> I don't think you've looked in the mirror recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, to illustrate my points, I'm going to be using pie charts. Like this one. <laughs> oh, I think you've drawn your pie chart a bit too efficiently. <laughs> Someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Oh, sorry. Forget about the pie charts and talk about uh, elasticity. Hello? Yes, what now? I've heard it said that behaving like a grown up is the most important thing in business. Is that true? Yes, it is. And interrupting people is very childish. So could you please. <laughs> Skateboarding? That's not very grown up, is it, Walter? You! And now, phase three. Run for it, lads! Get this dumb kid off me! Dennis, what have you done now? Uh, got you your job back. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Big Bucks. Oh, uh, if there's anything I can do... You can stop hiring boys to do a man's job! Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Where do you think you're going? There's work to do. Ah, it's great being in business. Pie face, take a letter. Dear Mum, can you hurry up with a lemonade and cake? Forget it, Dane. I think Pie Face is in love. Must be around here 
somewhere. <sighs> Any luck? Not yet. But you know Pie Face. He thinks the Beano Town Pie Festival is like a whole month of birthdays rolled into one. And if we don't find him soon, we'll have a repeat of last year's disaster. Wait! There he is! <sighs> the Pie Festival. People selling pies, buying pies, eating pies. I don't think so. Remember what happened last year? I can't hold him, Dennis. We have to, Curly. Cos if we don't... Oh, no. No pie face! No pie face! Don't do it! Oh, he's doing it. Remember now, Pie Face? Oh, yeah. And remember what our dad said? If it happened again, we'd be grounded till we were 90. <gasps> It'd be worth it for one more taste of that winning pie. No, it wouldn't be worth it. I don't want to be grounded and stuck at home. Me neither. Look, Pie Face, there are plenty of things to do better than eating pies. There are? Yeah, loads of things. Come on, let's go and have some fun. Take your mind off it. Here, over here. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> Together, but he's still thinking about pies. I know. I think it's time for Plan B aversion therapy. Aversion? What? You'll see. Explain it to me again, Dad. Why are we giving him pie? We're not curly. See, if he takes it, his teddy bear gets it. <gasps> no pie face! Don't do it! <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, Walter. Nearly crashed into your stall. Good job you didn't. I reckon I'm on course to win again this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, looks like we beat him here. How do you know? Cos no one's screaming, get off me pies! So, what now? Dunno, but I'll think of something. Ladies and gentlemen, soon it'll be time to pick the winner of the grand title Best Pie in Festival, which should be... Uh, soon. Uh, when our chief judge arrives, that is. <laughs> You've got a plan, haven't you? Oh, yes. Then, Curly, because here comes Pipers! Okay, I'm on my way! No, Pipers! No! Pies! Right, that's it! Just wait till I tell your dads! You'll be grounded forever! Nasha, quick! Plan C! Walter out of the way. Now, I've just got to keep Pie Face occupied for a while. <sighs> oh no, you don't! <laughs> Let me go! No! <laughs> all those pies! <laughs> don't worry, you'll get all the pies you want in a minute. <laughs> Yes, just a few minutes. I promise. Are you sure? Trust me. Have I ever let you down? <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a slight delay. Our uh, chief judge still hasn't turned up. I wonder what could have happened to her. Ooh, I don't get it. I'm sure that curly-haired kid said the pie festival was here. Mr. Mayor, how about a stand-in judge? Uh, well, I don't know. Remember what happened last year? Oh, oh yes, yes, I remember. Yes, but you have to admit, no one knows more about pies than Pie Face. Yeah, well, there is that. Pie Face, Pie Face, Pie Face, Pie Face. Oh, very well. Come on up then, lad. Yay! Yay! Oh, what do I have to do? Well, you just have to taste all these pies and tell us which one's best. <gasps> now, when you say taste. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do we have a winner? Uh. No, I, I just can't choose. They were all so good that they're all winners. You saved the day. And as a reward, here are some special presentation pies. <laughs> <Stop>! <laughs> <laughs> will be dogs. And you two did save the pie festival. I, I think we'll overlook it on this occasion. You know what? I don't really fancy any more pie for now. <sighs> <gasps> <laughs> oh, I don't believe it, Nasha! The 
tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr Magnifico fight. Mr Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh, come on, Nasher. It's not fair, Nasher. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. <laughs> First class. <laughs> <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of... Junior First Aider! With your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a first aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your first aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. Our studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic yeah. bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? <laughs> I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just... My... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up, Nasha. Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Rolls and chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> is suffering from heat stroke. What 
you do to help? Uh, call him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. That's <laughs> freezing! Job done! Uh, hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. <laughs> I'm on it, Mum! Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! <laughs> what about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Uh, uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! 